Hello, my name is Elliot Newton and I'm the Biodiversity Officer for Kingston Council. And welcome to what is the first Reading Nature. And these are sessions that we're running with library service to try and make you know more about the amazing wildlife that Kingston has to offer and explore the green spaces that have been so important during lockdown and just get outside even in the winter months because a lot of people like going outside in the summer but I want to show you even in the winter there's so much great green space to explore and nature to see. And um, we're going to be doing a series of sort of short videos uh, to introduce you not just to our green spaces but the wildlife that inhabits them. So when you walk through our nature reserves you can also try and read the nature that's around us from the birds to the dragonflies to all sorts of species. So hopefully you'll find a really interesting session um, and uh, if you have any questions too please do free to get in touch. So the first thing I want to tell you is um, we'll go one level up from Kingston and I'll tell you about London because obviously Kingston is a London borough and this is a map of London and last year London became the world's first national park city which celebrates all the green and blue space that London has to offer and if you look at this map you can just see how green London is it's about 49.5% green so almost half of it with over well, about 16,000 species records just taken in London and it has obviously the amazing River Thames which flows through it, this 215 mile river which is full of fish, we think in the tidal bit alone there's about 125 species of fish if you look up into the skies we've recorded about 188 species of bird and which uh, and including and then also bats, we've got about 11 species of bats just recorded in London so there's an incredible amount of diversity just in our city that a lot of people don't recognise and if you come down to Kingston which is hiding around here, sticking out, I like to call it the Florida of London, the way it sticks out, and it is a, Kingston is actually a really important green space, we have a lot of really great nature here, a lot of people might go to Richmond Park to go and discover local nature, but actually I want you to stay in Kingston and explore our very own nature reserves, we have about 11 nature reserves and about 20 parks, or 30 parks, sorry, and if you look at Kingston it's got a really important strategic Look, it's really important for wildlife because of where it's located. Because to the north, we've got Richmond Park here. To the east, we've got Home Park and Bushy Park. To the west, we've got Wimbledon Common. And to the south, all down here is the Greenbelt. So it's a really important place for nature to move through. Because nature doesn't stay in boundaries. It likes to move through our gardens, through the, along our streets, along our rivers. So Kingston is a really important place for wildlife. And um, in Kingston, we've had thousands of species recorded and I'm standing here on the Hogs Mill River which is a really important wildlife corridor which helps wildlife move through the borough. The Hogs Mill is actually a chalk fed stream which means it comes up through a chalk bed and that is where and that is a really rare habitat type. We only have about 200 chalk streams in the planet so that's a really 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 rare river really rare habitat type. So hopefully over the next few sessions we'll tell you more about the amazing wildlife that you can find and you can go out and explore it for yourselves.